At the University of New Mexico, Native American high school seniors from all around the state are spending a day learning about college life. 17-year-old Jay John's family wants him to succeed. Is it exciting for you to be here today? Yeah. Um, this is actually the school I want. I'm planning on attending. But across the U.S., shockingly few indigenous young people make it to college. Nationwide, just 19 percent of Native Americans aged 18 to 24 are enrolled in college, compared to 41 percent of the overall population. Only 16 percent attain a bachelor's degree or higher. Native Americans are among the poorest populations in the U.S., and college tuition is expensive. Another factor is the century-long history of U.S. government-run boarding schools, which are now widely considered instruments of cultural destruction. Education was used to colonize indigenous people in the United States, and so many have very bad memories of education as being a tool for extinction. Along with the excitement of attending college, many Native American students experience jitters and a level of anxiety over leaving their tight-knit communities and families behind for the first time. Jay John is somewhat nervous. Growing up like on the reservation, you know, you have your grandma close like half a mile away, you have your uncles and your aunties and you know, you have a lot of siblings when you leave and you're alone and that's pretty tough. Isolation took a toll on Raven Long Wolf Alcott. I was very depressed and anxious, and I think for the first time in my life, I was just like really challenged uh, mentally and spiritually. She got through the crisis and now hopes to use her environmental science education to help her people. Many other young Native Americans would like to give back, too, if there was a better support system for them to attend college and graduate. Right now, there isn't. Rob Reynolds, Al Jazeera, Albuquerque, New Mexico.